A Pentagon whistleblower shared explosive claims on Capitol Hill. They say alien technology or UFOs are defying the laws of physics. The whistleblowers testify before the House Oversight Committee investigating the probes and any possible threat to national security. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has the latest. Good evening, Tracy. You know, two of the witnesses, retired military fighter pilots, told about objects that they encountered flying across the sky. Another was a former intelligence officer who was part of the Pentagon's UFO task force. He claims the U.S. government has intact and partially intact alien vehicles and non-human alien remains. Do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. The hearing was the talk on Capitol Hill with lines to get in stretching down the hall and around the corner. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. In 2004, retired Navy Commander David Fravor was leading a squadron off the coast of San Diego and witnessed a 40-foot tic-tac-shaped object. The other airplane that took the video did get it on a radar. As soon as it tried to lock it, it jammed the radar, spit the lock, and he, he rapidly switched over to the targeting pod, which he can do in the, uh, in the F-18. It moved at speeds never seen before with no thermal exhaust. It knew exactly what it was doing. It was aware of our presence, and it had acceleration rates. I mean, it went from zero to matching our speed in... No time at all. Intelligence official David Crush spoke about injuries and deaths to scientists involved in reverse engineering research. What I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. And the threats he and others faced to speak out against the government, including physical harm and even possible death. It was very brutal and uh, very unfortunate. Some of the tactics they used to um, hurt me both professionally and, and personally, to be quite frank. In a statement, the Defense Department denied a cover-up, saying, quote, To date, AARO has not discovered any verifiable information to substantiate claims that any program regarding the possession or reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials have existed in the past or exist currently. Committee members tell me that future closed-door hearings are planned. The big picture? The hearing broke down some of the barriers surrounding UFOs, and some claim it solidified the fact that we are not alone. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.